Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. I'm Rocketactyl. Last episode we started on the lovely cruise liner SS Anne. We fought a whole bunch of trainers including some absolutely grumpy dude. I don't know what his problem was. We just barged into his room for no reason. Uh, this episode we're going to explore more of the ship. Hmm. It was probably spoiled considering it was in the trash but whatever. Ooh another great ball. Great Balls will become uh, pretty much the standard fare uh, pretty soon. By the way, that was a hint because if you check these uh, trash cans, you'll find a couple of berries that I don't remember what they do because basically there are only like five usable competitive berries. And those are the ones I care about. I think those are ones that just heal status conditions, which don't really matter because you could basically just use... Uh, you could basically just use, like, stuff like full heals and stuff. Anyway, we are going to go on here. What do you have to say, sir? The ship, she is a luxury liner. Okay, you keep telling yourself that, sir. If we go up here, we will go on this hallway with this guy here. A sword master? That's crazy. Will he kill me? He'll probably kill me. I do believe you're a battle, sir. As always. As always, guys. I healed him between episodes. Let's have Boomy, because he's currently the lowest member of our team. Uh, no, but I am Brian. So, yeah. Alright, Trevor. What do you got for us? You only got a Machop, really? Level 17 Machop? Is that the best you can muster up here? I'm pretty, I'm pretty disappointed in you, Trevor. You could have been better. You really could have been. We're gonna make quick work of this guy. Of course, that did quite a bit more than I would have expected. It doesn't really matter. Side beam a Machop, all this fun stuff. It's super effective. Yeah, no kidding. We just blasted him with our mind. With our mind alone. Tentacool, I'm gonna keep Houdini out because I don't want to send in Mendel for a water poison type because you'd have to use grass and that would just be neutral at that point and we don't want neutral. No one wants a neutral game. Everyone wants to see the super effective moves done by a psychic animal thing. Yeah, well clearly you should have cared more because you lost. Anyway, uh, do, is this guy a battle too? Matey? Okay. Is that some kind of uh, sex term I'm not uh, quite familiar with? Because I don't want to, Edmund, if that's kind of the angle you're going for. And another Machop. So once again, Boomy can't be used in this battle, so I guess I have to go to Houdini. But what are you going to do? This is Pokemon. It's just rock, paper, scissors, bro. This is going to do quite a bit, isn't it? I don't understand why it's doing that much. It's, I mean, I know Houdini has, like, absolute crap defenses, but, you know, he's resisting it, and he's not even that heavy. Maybe it's in his tail. Houdini's got tail, dudes. And dudettes. I don't get the term dudettes. Like, I don't know, I know dude is kind of supposed to be, like, a one gender word. It's supposed to be representative of males. But, I feel like, to specifically go out and say dudette, one, it's just stupid, and two, it's like, you can just use it to refer to a whole bunch of people. Like, I, I will always refer to any whole group of people as guys, even if, even if all of them are women. Oh, thank you, sir. I'm very impressive, as you can tell. What do you have to say? Yeah, it's closing time. You have to go home. Okay, but you're still on the ship, so, uh, tough luck for you, bro. Alright, that was that. That was, what is that, the poop deck? That's not the poop deck. Uh, we have a whole bunch of rooms here, but, uh, first, instead of continuing on there, I'd like to go explore this area, the basement of the ship. Is it a basement if it's a ship? I don't know, the, the bottom floor. Whatever. Let's go in here and see what's going on. Ooh, a nice Pokeball here. What can, what is in contained in it? A Super Potion. 
That's pretty ama amazing. Excuse me. Oh boy. Boy, he really does have the strength to move rocks. <laughs> Gua. I, I feel like M Machoke isn't saying that, but that's just this guy saying that. He's like, my Machoke is mute, but I'm just going to be like, Gua, 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 and no one will notice. He's the world's greatest ventriloquist, guys. Now, are any of you sparring people? You got to be sparring. You are sparring. Alright, I know how much pride means to you sailors, because you clearly have a lot of pride, even though you look absolutely ridiculous. Ah, oh, Boomy, are you ever... This is the episode that Boomy gets no use. For now, at least. That will probably change soon. Oh no, smokescreen, that's actually gonna be kind of annoying. Because it lowers your accuracy, and... Everyone knows accuracy lowering moves are the worst. There's no strategy to them, it's just let me do sand attack at you 5,000 times and then you won't be able to do crap about it. Is this guy just gonna have shelters? I mean, come on. I like shelter as much as the next guy. Unless that next guy's the owner of the shelter fan club, but just come on, dude. Keep it down a little. Oh, tentacle. A big curveball there, bro. You went from one common water Pokemon to a more common water Pokemon. I do applaud. I applaud you. This is my applauding face. You can't see my face, so you'll never know if I'm legit or not. If only I had face cam. That would have fixed this problem. Houdini grows to level 23. Reflect. Hmm... I'm sure Reflect would be better than some of the moves we have here. I don't see myself using Disable too much. Uh, I'm going to get rid of Reflect. And I know that's going to give me all Psychic... Or not Reflect. Disable. I, I never use Disable. I haven't used it yet. It's not that great of a move. It's like, why make the opponent not be able to use one move when you could just attack the opponent or raise your own stats or something like that. Oh, and you were also a fighting bro. Yeah. Uh, they say sailors hate battling. Is that the saying? You have an oddly shaped body, sir. It's like... It's... It's like convex. Is that the one that goes out? It, his, he has, like, very large thighs, I think. He has thunder thighs. I think. That's what I'm gathering from that. Sup Supersonic Racing. Super fun. Great game. I've never actually played Sonic R, but I don't want to, so that's kind of a moot point. It's it's probably probably one of the worst racing games ever, just going from what I've seen about it. You yeah, do look at that. That's that's not how people people look. That's not a thing that people look like. Ah, yo, ah, great bow, mate. Hey, how's it going, mate? That's not even an Australian accent. Great accent, mate. And I continue. I can't do accents at all, basically. Oh, okay. So if you excuse me, I'm gonna go call Chris Hansen. He's gonna have you take a seat, if you don't mind. Horsey. So, he likes feisty kids, and he brings out a Pokemon known for horseplay. Any windows much? I don't know, maybe I'm seeing things where they aren't, like, like the kid from The Sixth Sense. But they were dead, so I don't know. Whatever. This is gonna be a one hit. Yeah, this not challenging at all. It really isn't. I mean, come on, dude. You could at least have the dignity and the decency to evolve your horsey. That would make this so much more difficult than it is right now. But you aren't, and just continues to be absolutely terrible. You, you literally look like a fool. That other guy was talking about having pride. And you might have pride, but that doesn't mean you're good. Oh. Looks like the smoke screen really affected me now. How much damage will I take here? Hope it's not too bad. Oh, <laughs> 3.5. Uh, 
three damage, and that was a critical hit. So, uh, how much would that have done regularly? I'm not sure what the critical hit multiplier is. It would have done either one or two. Probably one. There we go. We should have been dead, fainted last turn, but... You, you, I missed, and you just got that terrible three HP on me. It was so terrible. 24. You know what's a greater level than 24? 25. I didn't realize you were a pirate, sir. I thought you were a sailor. By the way, joke of the day, guys. What is a pirate's favorite letter? You might think it's R, but it's actually the C. Thank you, I will be here all night. Leave, tip your waitress, and leave this restaurant. Okay, what is... I mean, of course they would have Pokemon. Everyone has Pokemon in this world, uh, except for our mom. I, she just didn't get on the whole Pokemon train, even though I assume she's lived right next to the professor for like all her life. I mean, I don't know, I, I don't know how like in a world with these super amazing Pokemon, like these creatures that can fight each other and stuff, how you don't have at least a Pokemon as a companion, even if you don't fight it. I mean, I guess you could say it's similar of a situation to you know, having pets, you know, why don't, why wouldn't you have a pet, but I think the situation's a little bit different. Because Pokemon are so much more varied and ridiculous than just your standard pets are. You know? So I don't think, oh, did not need to use Leech Seed. That's what you get for using the GameCube's crap D-pad. Okay, this is a waste of a turn anyway. Dude, I am a special base Pokemon. I do special damage. That uses special defense, not defense. Just because it attains defense in it does not mean it affects your special defense. This, this guy has Pokemon, but he clearly doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah, you, but you are, dude. You are bad. This better be a good item or else I've wasted my time. Rest! Uh, rest is okay. You, you really gotta have a strategy based around rest, you can't just use it all willy-nilly. Uh, you guys... Wait, hold on. Two guys, one bed? Gotta, gotta keep your backs turned for... to prevent accidental spooning. Uh, I'm gonna send out Houdini first, cause Boomy hasn't been doing crap in the f lead. Whoops. I can't control things. I'm having spasms. But I am actually not. Hello. I'm from the plains. Well, I can tell because you're probably a fisherman. Yes, you are. I can tell from your large pole. Phrasing. Tentacool is going to do absolutely nothing against my side beam. I'm always like six levels ahead of these guys. Can they at least have the decency to have higher level Pokemon? Could that be a thing? There should be. There should have been a hard mode in this game. It's interesting how Black and White 2, Black 2, White 2, I should specify, are the only ones to have, like, a hard mode in them. I thought that was a cool idea. Of course, they should have made it usable from the beginning, but I digress. I mean, what's the point of a hard mode? If it's just, I mean, personally, I'm not one to always just replay Pokemon games all willy-nilly. So it's like, it would have been nice to have the feature from the start, but whatever. It doesn't matter, it's not like, it's not even like hard mode was even that much more difficult. It just made it slightly higher leveled and slightly different moves on Pokemon, I think. Barney. I'm, I'm the one that got away, basically, is what he's saying. And, uh, what about you, sir? I assume you are a connoisseur of Pokemon. Dude, you're not a pirate, you're a sailor. Those are not equal. Pirate does not equal sailor. That is not how it works. Well, I did... I was pretty smart sending Houdini out first. They should give me the Nobel uh, Intelligence Prize, because I'm pretty damn smart. Saibi. I feel like I have too many, like, redundant moves, but you really don't have to have a huge... <laughs> Wait, so he's a pirate? 
called Philip. What is this, Captain Phillips? Yeah, well, I don't know. I have so many redundant moves, but it doesn't really matter because I'm still beating everyone, so... Is there something in that trash can? You always gotta check trash cans, kids. Yes, there is! Hyper Potion! Now that is Mucho's good. Let's see, which one had the person in it? It's aha! You heal my Pokemans. Alright, we're gonna heal and we're gonna go on and tackle other places and rooms and stuff. In that order, I might add. As, as you can see, as I miss the stairwell, because Red is legally blind. Let's see what's in here. This is places. Are you a battler? A Snorlax? Okay. Yeah, Snorlax is a pretty cool Pokemon. That's all I'm going to say about him. Because he's Snorlax. Uh, you know what? I'm feeling confident about Houdini. As we... Okay. Do you think the fishermen ever cook their the fish that they catch? Like, I wonder how, like, grilled a Magikarp would be. I mean, I'm not really a fish guy. I'm not a merman, but, uh, I assume that, uh, that could be pretty good. I don't really like fish that much, so it doesn't matter. Oh boy, the most useful move ever, Water Sport, has been used by the Goldeen. We are now forever... Uh, weak. We have now, our fire moves have been weakened. So sorry, Mendel, for all of the fire moves you have, they won't be quite as good now. Oh, Houdini just gained a level off screen. Look at you, Mendel, stealing, stealing Houdini's thunder. Or should I say, psychic? Because he's a psychic type? Yeah. <laughs> Tentacool. Tentacool? Contrary to popular belief. Not that cool. You know, I never found him that cool. I mean, he's pretty... He's pretty chill. But, uh, I don't know. I, I wouldn't sit with him at lunch is basically what I'm saying. What Pokemon was that? I wasn't paying attention. Because this is super easy. I think it was something weak to grass? Yes, it was. I saw two E's, so I'm like, either that's a Goldeen or a Beedrill. And I don't think it was the latter. Alright, Goldeen, you're down. Man, we're getting levels just like that right now. It's crazy. Dale. I'm all out, Mwok. Relax. And you are also a trainer, so let's see what you have, my fine sir. Tips Fedora. Keeps you youthful. Are you by chance searching for the Fountain of Youth Brooks? That's not a name. Of course, the one time who de uh, Boomy would have been useful at leading. I don't have him leading. Whatever. We can just switch him in. It's not even too much of a problem. Really, though. Ha! <laughs> it doesn't affect Boomy, bitch. Um, I'm hoping for... Let's get the magnitude going. Ah... Please just kill it in one hit, Boomy. Thank. Please kill it. It's one level higher than me? Yes. Pikachu's not really known for their high defense. Or HP. Or anything that isn't offense. Okay, dude, that's a little weird. I'm kind of weirded out right now, not gonna lie. Stardust. Sounds like some, like, progressive rock band album. Uh, hmm. I assume... Huh, you're not a trainer. Ah, okay. Kind of like... Life itself. Difficult to use and... Tough to... Discard. Uh, what party? The, uh... Jay-Z's big party? Because I was so there, I'm friends with Jay-Z, if you didn't know that. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. Would this be, like, the first time that we've used Chimpy? Did we use Chimpy at all last episode? I honestly don't remember. I feel like we didn't. <laughs> Sorry, Chimpy. You're never really used that much. <laughs> 
whatever, he's still a good member of our team, even if he isn't the most used member right now. And he's already not being used, cause now it's Boomy time. Alright Boomy, I think you can defeat a Pikachu cause you just did it last time. This one's even lower level, so unless you do something like stupid like get a 6 or good. I think 7 is the most common magnitude, and considering I think that's 70 base power I think? That's pretty good. I think that's correct, but I might not be correct. Hey, okay. I will. Thank you, random person who I've never met before who wasn't at Jay-Z's party. Oh, I, I passed by you before. Why didn't you see me before? Are you... He's obviously nearsighted. Um, both. Because I like goddamn Mewtwo. Mewtwo for Smash Brothers, bros. I've always been wondering, I a lot of people want Mewtwo back, and it's like I'm not opposed to the idea, and I think it would be cool, but I don't think Mewtwo is coming back, guys. Of course, when Smash Bros. 4 is released in, well, October in the US for the 3DS version, September, if you live in Japan, as they call it in uh, Spanish, Japan, uh... When that happens, if Mewtwo is released, you can come back to this video and chew me out for being wrong about things. Okay? Sound like a good idea? Sound fair? It's fair. It definitely is. But I honestly don't think Mewtwo's coming back. That's the thing, it's like, it's so funny how he's the, like, he was for a long time the strongest Pokemon, and I think with his Mega Evolutions, he's once again reclaimed title as like one of the strongest Pokemon ever, at least in terms of base stat totals, I believe. I believe uh, Mega Mewtwo Y has it. Has the, like the highest base total. Not sure about X. His is probably either the same or very close. Um, yeah. Are there any more trainers? No, you guys aren't trainers. Oh, Safari Zone. Maybe that's a place we'll eventually visit, possibly. I don't know, that's just a theory. Uh, stupid theory. You guys are just chatting, I guess. You know what, I, I can't just end it off on a searching for a trainer to fight, so... I think it's in our best interest, but I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna just use up these potions, cause that's what I'm gonna do. You're probably tacky too. Anyway, I say we ended off on one final thing. And if you played this before, you know that it's goddamn Chad. Dude, you're not French, shut up. Stop misappropriating the French language. Dude, just because you caught a lot of Pokemon doesn't mean you're hot shit, bro. Yeah, okay. Stop acting like it's so difficult. Literally, like... A goddamn, like, geriatric guy in with using a cane and in a wheelchair could catch some Pokemon. Literally, the guy who gave us a tutorial for catching Pokemon was, like, 100. Ugh, Chad, you did- you literally disgust me. Like, I look at Chad and I'm like, Ugh! Gross! This guy's literally grody. Ugh. Anyway, so we got a Pidgeotto right here, it's nice. Thing we can do in one hit? Ah. That close. This is the physical representation of how close that Pidgeotto was to dying. Fainted. Do I have to correct myself every single time? Because I don't think I have to. Alright, okay. Wow, you got Eradicate now, bro. Wow, you were able to catch one of the most po po common Pokemon in the game. You're so cool, Chad. That was laid in with sarcasm, Chad. I have to state that for you because I don't think you have the mental capacity to understand it. To comprehend that I'm using sarcasm on such a great guy like you, Chad. 
Oh, he has his own Kadabra, but his Kadabra, nowhere near as cool as ours is. Uh, let's see how Boomy fares against a Kadabra. I don't know if he, he probably won't beat him in speed, because even though it's lower level, Kadabra probably has higher base speed. So let's see what magnitude. Oh, well, we did outspeed him. Ooh, and an 8. Nice stuff here. Chad, did you ever think you had a chance? Genuine question. Genuine question, Chad. Alright, and Charmeleon. Boomy, you're gonna sweep out the side. Go for the clean sweep, Boomy. Even though it wasn't really a clean sweep, because things happen. In the middle. That's a high-level Charmeleon, bro, but... It's not enough to... Uh... Boomy, you were that close. You were so close, Boomy. That, that close. Alright. This fin. Okay, six. It does the job. It gets Charmeleon. I don't know. It's like freaking California out here having earthquakes every minute, and then they're just like, oh, the ground's shaking, but we don't care because it happens all the time. It should say, Player Rex Rival Chad. Oh, don't act like you're all crazy. What is that supposed to mean? The fact that my Pokemon are clearly superior to all yours? Ugh. Yeah, okay. Ugh. Maybe you should smell yourself, Chad, because you literally- you smell- You smell like a freaking Reflesia. A Reflesia flower. That's how garbage you smell like, Chad. But enough with the chat insults. I say we ended off this episode right here. So next time on Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green, uh, we will uh, maybe get an HM or something. I don't know. Do I, 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 do I look like a guy who knows things? No, I don't. I'm Rocket Actal, and keep on rocking.